Every reward I sent out was a total pleasure to me to send it, and because I, I was sharing, I, you know, I was sharing my work with the world and meeting new people. You want it to be very specific to the Kickstarter, make it feel like a once in a lifetime thing, make it feel exclusive, make it feel personal, make it feel like, you know, they're actually helping, because they really are actually helping you create this project without them, you wouldn't be able to do it. When you're thinking about rewards, the thing you should consider is um, having a lot of different tiers. So a lot of different points of entry, maybe like three different categories. So you have a digital, you have a print based, and then you have maybe something that's non-material, like a studio visit or something like that, lessons. But you know, for the right amount of money, I think you have to balance how much, how much of a contribution the person is making to how much you're of your time you're giving back. Imagine you have like 500 prints and 600 t-shirts and whatever, and you have to like get this stuff out to people. Um, how do you do that? What do you need for that? You need packaging. You need to put the stuff in something to like get it to them. Even just the amount of hours that it takes to roll posters and put them in tubes is insane. If you're gonna be offering prints, order a print. You're gonna have to pre-order prints and see from whom you're gonna purchase them, which quality you like best, how they ship them. If you can have them shipped direct to your backers, that takes a lot of pressure off you. Um, but then also ship the reward to yourself. So you see what the USPS, how FedEx, how UPS, how they all treat your, your reward and how it's gonna arrive to your, your backers. Like I think I would do more um, experience-oriented rewards, you know, that's not just a simple piece of paper, you know, something that is actually, like, makes me feel closer to the backer and then feel closer to the project. Experiential rewards are pretty low maintenance when you think about it. Um, you could have the reward price cover your transportation to be there in person, or you can invite somebody to your studio, and it's, that's an option, or you can Skype in, um, but you can set those at a pretty, um, pretty high level, I think, because it's very unique, very special, and you can uh, limit those, but it's, um, you don't have to worry about going to the post office. <laughs>